man, ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavyweight contest over six five-minute rounds, one fall, one submission or knockout to decide. In the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen from Krakow, Poland, Johnny Sezlaw. Give him a hand, please. Thank you all. Owner, ladies and gentlemen, are from the West Indies, Caswell Marty. And your referee, ladies and gentlemen, Max Ward. Hello again, Grapple fans. Welcome once again to another freestyle wrestling show, this time here at the Chancellor Hall in Chelmsford. We start this afternoon's proceedings with a six five minute round one full contest at heavyweight between Caswell Martin and Johnny Cheslow. The first round. So, Caswell Martin of Antigua West Indies at 14 stone four, going up to heavyweight on this preliminary bout versus Johnny Chesler for 15 stone one. Heavyweight upper limit, of course, 14.13. Referee Max Ward of Birmingham. too far of course he'll be trying for a pinfall Just two minutes to go in this first round of six. Thumbs doing the damage. Thumbs right in the pressure points there. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's quite a counter to that chop to the side. Huh? I've never seen anybody do that before, but it worked. Let's see if he tries it again. Ah, this time the West Indian a little bit too quick for him. One 
minute left for that semi chuck Frank hold turned into a rather loose arm lever there. Really, both of them feeling their way around at the moment, setting their sights a little. Now, that trick is. We're pretty used to it. Yeah. Johnny Chesler and that one too. It's a neat fall and an ankle trap as he goes. Figure four leg lock to finish. Half a minute left. Well, that's the full 15 stone one of Chesler. Trying to get a leg spread submission. It's just one fall and to decide this bout, remember. Closing with eight seconds. <laughs> Lost his balance rather than gave up, I think. On the bell now. Johnny Cheslov from Krakow, Poland, 15 stone one. This great, tremendous sense of humor. He's got as much sense of humor, uh, possibly, as the as one of the kings of the mat, as far as Clowney is concerned, Les Kellett, who, of course, is the main bout here this afternoon later, and Kevin Keneally, who follows that one. So quite a bit of humor here this afternoon for you. And, of course, quite a bit of wrestling along with it, too. Seconds away, round two. Round two, and of course, no score so far because this is a one fall contest. The first fall decides the bout. So with Robert there by Cheslov. This man a little far away, the head twisted not quite enough, maybe, to make it uh, pay into a possible submission. But. Caswell Martin wisely going towards it rather than against it. Grobit still very definitely there. And now released. Forced to release into a backhander. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Missed time that just slightly, Chestnut. And the first to realize it, the big grin comes back. He realizes he boobed a little at Almost straightforward head scissors by Cheslov. Facing the right way, but uh, never made it, so he risked the sideways on him, but a little risky. Tricks comes off. Shut up, you. <laughs> he never likes that being counted for a pinfall when he's leaning back with a, a hold on. Using his feet to get the hold on and his shoulder blades. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nobody getting anywhere with that. Identical moves on both sides. So an agreed release with a couple of minutes left in round two of the six-round contest. Remember, just one fall or one submission decides it. Uh, 
measuring up for the chop on the forehead. There was some angry viewer wrote to me the other day and said, it is not pronounced forehead, it's pronounced forehead. Well, forehead or forehead, that's where he was aiming his chop. That's quick cross buttock. The headlock staying. We might even try that again. With less than a minute left in round two. Oh, a really reached grapevine attempt there. He's not getting his leg right, but it's uh, tempting. Right. right over the front. Have to have a long leg for that. This is quick back elbow and avoided the follow up if it was going to be. Referee Max Ward. Line on the side that we couldn't pick up here. Maybe you do as well. We ride outside the ring, but very gently. Lots of handshakes. They handshake once more. There won't be time to restart this round. Caswell Martin, as I was saying earlier, one of the greatest potentials to the heavyweight bracket that the promoters, Dale Martin, have uh, discovered recently. 14 stone four of him arrived in the UK way back in the 50s, but, and he was a boxer at the time, and it also took up physical culture seriously, then turned pro wrestler after a very good amateur record because he won three titles, London, Southern, and British, this boy, before turning pro. Seconds away, round three. Round three, one fall decides the bout. Johnny Chesloff, Poland, Caswell Martin, West Indies. And it's Chesloff walking in to that arm lock right from the bell of round three. Max Ward from Birmingham, the referee. No trouble for him yet. I think that's more likely to come in the next bout. Johnny South versus Les Cullet. I think he's liable to have much more trouble with that one than he will with this. So I was saying, uh, Casual Martin, all the way from Antigua, West Indies. But he uh, resides now in London, South London. Leg spread on its way as a counter to Johnny Cheslop's. No unhappy look on his face yet. <laughs> The way that Johnny Chestoff literally pours with sweat. I'm just wondering whether this shaven head idea of his to help him get out of get out of holes in the wrestling ring is all that good because he really is pouring over his face, you can hardly see. And it's only round three. No? No, I won't. I'm not again. And of course very powerful lights for television lights from right above it. No, no, no. Just of course, he shaves all the way over the top every day. Cross press, the nearest, yet the nearest to a pinfall chance. And his extra weight might have brought it off. No. The side no. head chancery. No. With both 
Martin's arms, one each side of the head. <laughs> so it's still pouring into his eyes. This is the one he had on just now. See if he can hold it. He's got a couple of minutes to go before his second can towel him down a little, which will make him happy. The first crutch hold, and maybe the first slam. No, the slam didn't work. But through the ropes. Not a bad effort. Don't know quite where that landed, which was right above us here at ringside. High chest on the side. Well, that's a Johnny Quango trick, of course, that headbutt to forehead, but it's not often we see Casual Martin executed. Incidentally, that's another bout we got later on in this uh, bill this afternoon. Johnny Quango versus Kevin Kennedy. It could be quite fun. Less than a minute now in round three. And a bridge by Martin. Uh, I was just going to say that I thought Chester was a bit late with that, but he got it just. And again, forcing the, the hand bridge. Uh, no chance of breaking that, so Chestnut gives up. Again, the mayor, no. following the, followed by the uh, head yeah. of the strangle. Yeah, yeah. With eight seconds to go. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Good sporting contest anyway so far. Well, it's halfway through. Three rounds to go now. And I think that, in general, Johnny Chesler... Hey! <laughs> well, you saw that uh, water start on its journey, but you didn't see it arrive. It's right on our uh, table at ringside here. Don't think it was on purpose. I hope it wasn't. Johnny Chesler, always the sportsman. More wrestles because he really loves it even more than to earn his living. Seconds away, round four. Round four, three to go. One full to decide this bout. Caswell Martin versus Johnny Chesloff. Caswell Martin, West Indies. Chesloff, Poland. And still, referee has had Max Ward. There he is, has practically nothing to do. One pinfall, pinfall count, no warnings at all. Very easy job for the ref this bout. But I think he's got a few troubles later. So he's taking his man outside, he's done it. He held on, Castle Martin, but he still went out. Held on to the middle rope to save himself really flying into our camera. Oh. Nice timing again by Chesler. Oh, yes, and timing again by Martin. Beauty. Really came out from a height then. A little too late with that double arm, but he gets a second chance. And now a possible... Uh, 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 on two. And Johnny Chesloff, a little disappointed. He thought he had it in there, and he very nearly did. But two seconds plus there for a three-second pinfall. <laughs> Flying body scissors from near. <laughs> That's secured the feet a little better now behind Chester's back. And it just might not pay him to have done that, Martin. No. 
Yes, no. managed to undress it. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, if the counter works. No. Now he ended up all right with the counter on. No. But the whip not working. Oops. No. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there's a double Irish whip for you. Both of them could hold it twice, but neither of them thought they could hold it the third time, so both went. Thumbs again by Shoslov. The head firmly in the stomach. Yes. <laughs> Always remembers just in time, doesn't he, Johnny Chesler? <laughs> Couple of minutes left in the fourth. Legs both in the lock still. The advantage to Martin Thomas. Still finds time to go for Kara both the same again with a minute left. <laughs> oh yes. No, no one roll all the way there. Fresh press to follow. No, I won't. Half a minute. Chestnut's got to get out of this, produce a counter, or be released. Released he is. He gets the crossbar again. Again, the side of headlock. Ground position with eight seconds left to make it count. Martin, who, as I say, got those uh, three titles at amateur. He also was standby for Olympic Games in Mexico in 1968. He had amateur four and a half years as an amateur, turned pro in January 71. And I think possibly his first five pro bouts were against Ryan, Ivan Penzikoff, and Bob Kirkwood. He won those, but he then eventually got against Marino, which held him back a little. Seconds away, round five. Round five, two to go, no score, one fall decides it. Caswell Martin, Johnny Chesloff, Martin from West Indies. And who won his first three professional bouts until he came up against Mike Marito, Marino in the heavyweight class, which is a little rough for any newcomer, of course. He... Uh, won all his first pro bouts. Not a bad record at all. No. Double arm now to Martin. With the knee stroke lower back. Still at the beginning of this fifth round, right at the start of the round. Great, great fight. Opposite arm lever. No. No, I won't. Now, you try a third. Oh, yes. 
just a little weak in there, really. That's about all he got from it, but neatly operated. Yeah. Yeah. No. Up the, no. 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 No, 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 He's gone for a chicken wing and he's got it. He's reached those hands are reaching on the chicken wing. All oh, most agonizing hole possibly can be in except to grab it. Oh, I bet he's glad to be out of that one. I know about the chicken wing because I had Mike Marino put one on me once and didn't even close his hands and I, I, I never forgot it for 10 days. So how they close their hands on it, I don't know. for him. I don't really think it can. <laughs> Hardly a chance for a chest who got the hold on to do anything. is shot in by Johnny Chesloff at the referee in case he even asked him that he wants to submit. No, no, he, he bit my toes. <laughs> no, no, I won't. <laughs> Caswell Martin, known for his speed and agility as well as his uh, tremendous strength, not using so much of his speed so far this afternoon. Half a minute. Oops. Well, there's a leg spread pretty firm. Now you can think that Cheslov all he has to do is to move back, but of course if he does, he's followed. <laughs> Unless he can fool his man that he's not going to. Right on the bell now. Just really pouring. Look at him. No wonder that sweat is bothering by running into his eyes. I wonder just what advantage it really is to shave the head as a wrestler. Suppose you slip out of the arm locks easier, but the sweat goes into your eyes more, so I don't know which, whether it pays off or not. Johnny Chestnut, the first of our preliminary bouts. Seconds away, the sixth and final round. In fact, uh, Johnny Chesloff, I should say, versus uh, Martin, constitutes a main bout as much as any either of the other two coming later. <laughs> so a bill with three main contests in it. And one fall to decide this first one. <laughs> No. 
until this final round, and it's a Boston Crab no, chance no, to Martin. No, 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 my back. No, you want to submit? No, I won't. No, no. The referee may scored right there in case Chestnut decided to not take any more of it. There's the leg over now. The full balance on the Boston is full on. Or it was. Well, neat way out. Single leg Boston attempt. No switching to a figure four leg lock. There it is. But toe hold holding it on and typical chest lock putting his full weight on the opponent's back while he's holding the figure four leg lock on. Ooh, 15 stone one. That's quite a push up. Chesnoff couldn't do, or Martin couldn't do 30 of those. Anymore. So not too long to go now in this final round. So they better be pretty fast if they want to successfully to fool either of these men. Holding press, so we're just halfway through as round six, the final vote round in this part. Two minutes left now. And just off trying to turn it in to a crotch hold with the slam following. There it is. Beauty. Follow down. Reverse double knee hold. But can't hold it for long enough. Boat. One of these men is going to have to think of something pretty fast now if they want to record a win here. 45 seconds. Cheslop obviously must, knows it's the towards the end now, really going. Uh, <laughs> very neat. Very good uh, way of getting out of something, but not of finishing this part with a win. This has really got to go fast now. Bridge, 15 seconds. Eight seconds. Five. Too late for any score in this part. A draw and no score draw. Bobby Palmer, our master of ceremonies, is climbing in there. A quick uh, word with the ref and his official announcement. Hi, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, each contestant having gone the 30 minutes without a fall either way. Your collective appreciation for a very good draw, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Cesar and Caswell Martin. <laughs> 